Hi guys, welcome back. This is Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. Let me scooch in here. Got so much crap here that we're a little crooked, but that's okay. Uh, as you know, I'm going out of town for the weekend, and I wanted to get up the Astrological Zodiac Weeklies in Love and Romance, okay? Love and Romance. And I'm going to do it very quickly, okay? But I'm going to do it. And I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> so, let's get going. We're going to start with, we're going to work our way from the bottom up this time. Okay, this is for Pisces. For the week of the 22nd through the 1st of February. February 22nd through the 1st of March. For Pisces. What's going on with Pisces, Spirit? What's going on with Pisces? Alright. We have Seven of Wands in the recent past. Seven of Cups in the now and temperance as your future potential energy so Pisces okay this says that you're being guarded and defensive five six seven yeah it's the seven I have to count on these ones because they're weird Anyhow, the Seven of Wands to me in my journey means stand your ground, okay? You might have had uh, people telling you what to do, you know, saying, well, you shouldn't do this and you should do that and just all up in your business. And it's like you're just standing your ground. You're just saying, you know what? I believe what I believe. I do what I do. And you're just holding space for something. Holding space. Alright, so Spirit, I would like a clarifier. Speak to me. Okay, thank you. Alright, clarify the Seven of Wands for Pisces, please. Clarify, what does the Seven of Wands mean here for Pisces? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Too many. Yeah, there's too many. Sorry. What is the Seven of Wands for my Pisces? This is supposed to be quick, Spirit. Let's get one, please. I'm just cutting for it. All right. This is not the deck, Spirit. It's not going to cooperate. And I'm in a hurry. So let's just clarify with these ones. I have a magic three. All right, spirit. I'm just going to cut them and draw. One, two, three. Got to keep it moving. Got to keep it moving. Pick my energy up here. Oh, so it's communication. Miscommunication, I'm hearing. Miscommunication. Leaving him feeling guarded. Yeah, the Ace of Swords in reverse. I'm feeling like he, he feels like he's being held back. And I'm hearing he. So Pisces, I don't know who's out there listening. But I'm hearing he. He is feeling guarded. He is holding space. For communication and a victory. But it's not coming. It's not time. I'm hearing it's not time. That's just for some of you. For others of you... 
seven of, of wands is all about, you know, not letting anybody bully you, not letting anybody tell you what to do. It's like standing firmly in your beliefs and, and uh, it's also a little bit of uh, tension. People, it's an energetic tension is what I'm feeling for some of you. All right, and and the clarifier is simply it's over communication. It's miscommun. It's either miscommunication or it is um, a missed opportunity for communication. Okay, so there was an opportunity to speak your truth and to start a new beginning with somebody victoriously. But whoever is watching this and tuning in, I'm hearing that uh, it was a missed opportunity, a missed communication, missed opportunity for communication. Take it as it is, okay? And then the Seven of Cups, I know what Seven of Cups is. That's being confused. That's being delayed. That's reassessing the situation, looking at your options. It's... It's uh, choices, your desires, you know. It's kind of going to the magic fruit tree and seeing what you planted. What did I plant? It's when you're really hungry and you go to the cupboard to see what you can find. And you have to look at, hmm, which one looks best? I'm rather hungry. <laughs> Anyhow, that's, that's you, Pisces. You've got choices. You're a little confused about what to do. But you do have choices. All right, clarify the Seven of Cups, please. The Seven of Cups, please. Oh, judgment in reverse. Okay, so Pisces, this is, a, I'm, I'm getting a very ego, I'm receiving a very egotistical response to this. Somebody out there watching is confused about how to judge or how, how to punish. Oh, bad energy. Whoever's thinking, how do I punish this person? That's bad energy. Okay, for others of you, though, this is just uh, going through un unfair self-doubt feeling like you were judged wrongly, feeling like you didn't get justice, although it's the judgment card. Judgment is all about death and resurrection. So I feel like you're confused about your choices because you, you're, okay. You don't know if what you grew, what is on this tree, what is, has been planted. It's almost like you're confused how did it get there? I don't remember setting my intentions for those options to still be here. I didn't think those these options would still exist, would still be here today. I thought they were gone forever. And with the judgment card, they're back again. And it's in the reverse because you haven't chosen. You're still trying to choose. You don't trust it. It's like, is this real? Are these feelings real? That was such a long, long time ago. And now here it is, being resurrected from the dead. But a choice needs to be made. A choice needs to be made, Pisces, whoever's watching. You have to choose. That's why you've got the Seven of Cups. It's confusion. You're confused about why this person or these options are are back again how did they make it this far i'm hearing how did they make it this far why is this still here and what do i do with it that's what i'm hearing in the future in the near future you've got the temperance card and that's balancing it's a creative solution between two people. It's moderation, balance. It's compromise. 
something well thought out. I'm hearing Archangel Michael is blending the masculine and feminine energies for divine timing. Divine timing. And I'm also hearing that Wow, I'm really channeling for you guys today. These are supposed to be short, guys. All right, Pisces, this is what I'm hearing from Archangel Michael. In the beginning, when you met, and I'm seeing the Six of Cups. I'm seeing the Six of Cups filled with flowers. There was crush, romance, feelings when you first met. And in this deck, the winds of change are blowing the angel's hair. And there's a rose. I know the lighting sucks. I'm sorry. There's a rose that she took out of one of the cups. In order to balance the energies. So this is working on soulmate twin flame energies. We have an angel here. Divine intervention, divine guidance, divine alchemy is what I'm hearing. Can I get a clarifier, spirit? A clarifier, three shuffles and a cut for a clarifier on temperance for my Pisces. Clarifier for Pisces. Temperance in the near future. Why is it here? What does it mean? What is it fixing? What is it doing? I know it's been more than three shuffles, but I just feel like I really need to shuffle them good. Alright. One. Two. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ooh, High Priestess. In the upright. Yeah, this is all about trusting your intuition. And there's moon magic here, guys. And we've been going through a lot of moons. This looks like the waning moon. But the high priestess is all about intuition and magical timing. Divine timing. The highest of inner knowing. Wow, Pisces, that's pretty deep. I'm going to take another one. I got the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so what I'm hearing is it's not time to move forward, Pisces. It's almost time. Almost time for you to pick up the wand. And I know the lighting sucks. Oh, you can't see it. But it's the Knight of Wands in reverse. It's time to pick up your wand and move forward. Be the champion. Plans, communication. Uh, kundalini, I'm hearing kundalini energy. That could be good too. But it's in the reverse. It's not time. Why? Because we've got temperance and we've got the high priestess. So what I'm hearing is, is divine timing is at play. Hold your space. Don't go. You've got hold your ground over here and you've got hold your space here. Okay, don't move forward yet. Not yet. Almost time though, guys. Almost time. Alchemy and divine timing is at play. And how will you know? Spirit is saying, just trust. You will know. The high priestess knows. She knows everything. And when she's here, you know. And it's a lot. I mean, Pisces, it's water. There's I'm just channeling a lot for you guys. All right, so divine timing is at play in your love life and your romantic life right now. It's almost time. It's almost time. You still have a choice to make. And then in the future after you make your choice, after you make your judgment, does this, should I stay or should I go now? That's what I'm hearing. If I go, there will be trouble. And if I stay, there may be double. <laughs> I'm just hearing it. You guys might be feeling kind of like, I'm not sure if I want to take either path. But you will. You will. 
you're definitely moving towards something very beautiful here. And it's like there's divine timing at play. So, moder in the meantime, I'm hearing take care of yourself, moderation, balance, uh, drink, you know, purified water, eat clean, stay away from pork. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Whoever's watching, pork might be something that you don't react well with. But I'm hearing stay away from pork. Take care of yourself. Take care of you. All right? And kind of wait. I know you got a little passion wand right there that you're just ready to charge forward. It's like your soul wants to charge forward. But your intuition is telling you there's divine timing happening here. This angel is working for us and we need to let it work and not rush anything. Okay. okay. Bottom of the deck, nine of swords in reverse. So coming out of being worried, stop worrying, Pisces. Stop overthinking things. Okay, I want to get a romance card for you. We're just going to shuffle because I don't have time for this today, Spirit. We're just going to... Three shuffles and a cut. How's that? It's there's some temperance for you. Not a very good one. I'll do one more. There we go. One, two, three. Romance angel advice for my Pisces. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. That's the recent past. Right now... You need to let go of control issues and allow this situation to unfold naturally. That's a double message because you got it here with the Knight of Wands in reverse saying, hold your ground. Let divine timing happen. Okay? When you've got temperance in your near future, there's a healing that will happen through waiting. Okay, and letting go, just letting go and saying, you know what, I trust you, God. I trust you, Creator, that this is going to work out exactly the way it's meant to. And with the High Priestess here, you will know. You'll know. And your outcome, oh, your outcome card, I don't know if you can see it. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning into your life. That's beautiful, guys. What's on the bottom? Finances and career. So that's a block for some of you. So clean it up. I'm hearing clean it up. Clean it up and go chop wood. <laughs> Out of that other deck. That's funny. I'm, I'm hearing spirit tell me. Go chop wood, meaning be patient. Find things to distract yourself. Until you know, because in the high priestess energy, you will know when divine timing happens. All right, moving on. Thank you, Pisces. I love you. If it resonated, hit the like button and share it. Um, and I'll see you next week. All right, next up is Aquarius. We're going to do Aquarius spirit. Show me what I need to know for Aquarians from the 22nd of February until March 1st. 22nd of February 2019 to March 1st. Also, guys, I know I say dates, but if you clicked on this in the future... It is a timeless reading. I set my intentions that these are timeless. So if you were drawn to it and you clicked on it and it resonates with you, it's timeless. It doesn't have to be February 2019 and March 1st. It doesn't have to be. All right. Let's get it moving. One, two, and three. Whoa, those were small. For Aquarius, what is going on, Spirit? Show me, show me, show me. Oh, we got the Sun card in reverse. Six of Pentacles in the upright and the Queen of Wands in the upright. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. All right, Aquarians. This is what I'm hearing, that the sun in the reverse, you are in a relationship or a situation with someone that left you feeling unhappy. Unhappy. There was, there was no equal give and take. It was like you were constantly pouring your love out to this person. Reaching out, stretching. I'm hearing stretching out, not reaching, stretching out. 
and it just it it never happened it never happened it's like you wait you wait you wait it just doesn't happen and it left you feeling very unhappy and disillusioned is what i'm hearing disillusioned like like f this i'm i'm just done i'm done i'm hearing i'm done i'm done but i'm also hearing you're not done <laughs> sorry aquarius but you're not done okay so in the now you're wanting to to clear that energy whether it's with the same person or not i'm not sure yet but there's the six of pentacles this is this is the want and desire to share equally with somebody the fruits of your labor this is an equal give and take it's you're wanting a relationship that's stable and secure with equal reciprocity all right we'll get clarifiers on those but in the near future You've got the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is, you know, she's passionate, secure. She's a decision maker. She's stable in all situations. You know, if she's in the upright, she's very instinctive and intuitive. Um, passionate. It, it could be the sign of Leo. Or Aries and Sag. Or is it Sag? Yeah. Aries, Leo, or Sag, but I'm hearing Leo in my head. I'm hearing Leo. Well, like the lion. She's standing in her power of the lioness. It's like, oh, you know. If you want, I'm hearing, if you want me, you meet me where I'm at, and I am the queen of passion. No more imbalance. No more not giving as much as you receive. It's like she's doing this. It's what I'm hearing in my head. Vice versa could be masculine. I'm hearing she, but that's okay. Take it as it resonates for you. So I'm going to get some clarifiers because the underlying energy of all this. Wow, and because I saw it, I'm going to take it. I'm not going to look at the other one because I don't want to know. Because I don't want to get too complicated here. But we've got the nine of pentacles and the chariot. All right, chariot is... Uh, Cancer energy. Doesn't have to be. But this is moving on. Victoriously moving on. This is balancing the yin and yang within yourself. This is this is uh, winning the inner war. And balancing for forward movement. So, okay, I'm going to get clarifiers. But it's uh, the energy of this is feeling like you're moving on, Aquarius. It's like you've had enough and you're, you're going to be single and fabulous and move on. All right. So let's get a clarifier. I'm going to do three shuffles and a draw for the sun card in reverse spirit. Okay. Two. Too late. It fell out. So I got it. It's the world card in the upright. Okay, this is the ending of a cycle, Aquarius. If there's been somebody on your heart and on your mind, um, karma has been balanced with this, or is being balanced with this person. You've got the world card. I want another clarifier, please. Another clarifier for the world and the sun card in reverse. I'm hearing you are unhappy and you're, you're closing out a cycle. You're letting something go. But, I, but I'm hearing for some of you it's permanent. Some of you it's permanent. For others of you it's temporary. It's a temporary release. A temporary end. Oh, not temporary. The world card is never temporary. But it's like this cycle. This energy. This unhappiness cycle is ending. That's what I'm hearing. It's ending. So, what's coming in its wake? What's coming in its wake, Spirit? Three cuts and a draw. What is coming in the world in this new beginning for Aquarius? Okay, it's a four of, pen, or four of cups in reverse. 
So that's gratitude. That's a zest for life. That's that's being baptized by the divine cup that you, you couldn't see before. Now it's being dumped on your head. This will free you up. This, But I'm hearing it's a, it's a missed opportunity also. When the Four of Cups is in reverse, it's a missed opportunity. But I feel Aquarius like you think it's a missed opportunity. But the world card says no. It was divinely timed and meant to happen just the way it did. Okay? So let's move on to the Six of Pentacles. What does the Six of Pentacles represent for Aquarius? For February 22nd through March 1st, 2019. Can I get a clarifier on the Six of Pentacles for Aquarius? Clarifier. One. Two. Three. One. Two. That one wants to come out really bad. The Four of Swords really wanted to come out. <clears throat> so equal give and take. It's like you're over. I'm just hearing. I'm so over it. There was no balance here. I'm just over it. Time to heal. Time to move on is what I'm hearing. Yep. King of Cups in reverse. Yeah. It didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. But I'm. And you think it's a missed opportunity. But I'm hearing that the chariot might bring it back around again. The chariot at the end of the reading might be bringing this back around for some of you Aquarians. Others of you, you're just done. You're like, I'm done. Yeah, my cup of love didn't come. I feel disillusioned. I feel like I missed an opportunity. I, I was unhappy. There was no equal give or take. And now I'm just healing and meditating and going within. And and why? Because uh, no cup was offered. There was no... Uh, I put myself out there. I'm hearing I put myself out there. And I made a gesture. I made several gestures. And no cup came back. And still hasn't come back. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's do the queen. Do we really need to verify the queen? I mean, we kind of know, right? I'm just going to cut, guys. Yeah, it's the eight of pentacles. You got the eight, the nine, and then moving on. So this is literally, you know, the, the queen of wands is the energy that you were enticing this person with. You're like, come on, come on. I'm the queen of wands. I have a lot to offer you, and I'm passionate about it. I put a lot of hard work into this relationship. I worked hard. I polished and I, I etched and I created and I, I put a lot of into the details and I've thought about it and I've worked on it. And it just, it doesn't come. It just doesn't come. So she goes, and I'm hearing she, I'm sorry guys, if this is a man watching, you can vice versa it. But I'm hearing she... So she worked very, very hard to bring this into fruition, and she thinks she missed the boat. It didn't bring her any happiness, didn't bring her a cup of love. So what's she doing? She's being single and fabulous. I know you can't see it because of the damn light. But it's the Nine of Pentacles followed by the chariot. And I'm here to tell you that the chariot, for some of you, is literally moving on forever. You know, just over it. Moving, moving, moving. Gone. Yep. Look at Fool's card on the bottom. I heard it. I heard look because it's there. And there it was. So Aquarius, some of you guys are starting all over again. And I feel like you're moving on. You're moving away from this person with a new beginning. But others of you, I feel like the chariot is going to take you to a new beginning. A new fool's journey. It's like I'm hearing, oh, I would be such a fool to ever go back to that. But you will. Some of you will. Some of you will go right back to it. And it's divinely inspired. So, trust the fates, people. Trust the fates. In the meantime, be single and fabulous. And balance your inner 
masculine and feminine. Okay, I want past, present, future. Bottom of the deck is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This is in the near past. Because she's pretty disillusioned. Or he. Whoever is pretty disillusioned. Alright. And in the now they're doing a retreat. They might be going on vacation. They could be taking a time out. They're disconnecting from the world. And, you know, in the picture it shows, you know, two people. An older male with a younger female in a wedding gown, walking. It says it's time to disconnect from the world. I feel like some of you guys are going to, because you're moving on, you're going to go do something with other person, another person, perhaps an older person. The marriage stuff is all about wanting stability. I don't feel like there's an wedding on the horizon but it's that kind of energy that that you're looking for Aquarius something a little bit secure real committed all right and in the future we have children your love life is being affected by children so some of you have children and that might be the reason why things you know were murky for others of you, if you're on a twin flame journey, it's because you have to heal the divine masculine and feminine from the very first heartbreak, which usually happened at separation. Okay, so that is your reading. I love you guys. If you liked it, if it resonated, please hit the like button. If it didn't, hit the dislike. I like honesty. Um, I'm trying to get a bigger place with better lighting, better camera. If you guys enjoy my channel and you want to see it grow, watch for it to really boom here now that I'm going into uh, my, my uh, expos and, and doing the big shows, the expos and psychic fairs and whatnot. Holistic Healing Expos, because I'm going to be hammering the to all my readings, and I do a lot of readings at these, uh, for people to join my and subscribe to my channel. And also look for expansion. I'm going to be moving a little bit outwards. I'm, I'm definitely here to be a love guru. I'm definitely called to do the Twin Flame and Soulmate journey, but I may not be called to do or to just do that. I may expand. Okay, so I love you guys. Click on next week on the 1st of March. I'll see you then. Have a great weekend or have a great week and a great weekend. Namaste.